We're here for the launch of my 13th Roy Grace novel, Need You Dead. And the i360 is a very fitting place for the launch to take place because the whole climax of the book takes place at the i360 without saying too much. I do get very nervous. Um, I think the week before a book comes out, all the time the book's not out, you can pretend to yourself how brilliant it is. <laughs> when it comes out, Well, this is the first time I've written a whodunit in, the, in a sense of multiple suspects, which has kind of been a lot of fun. I've always been an admirer of Agatha Christie, and it's not a homage to her in any sense, but with most of my Roy Grace novels, I've written thrillers uh, in which we kind of tend to know the suspect, and, and it's a cat and mouse game as to, well, will I catch that suspect or not? Here, I have a number of different potential suspects, and with a very surprised last one, of course. The next Roy Grace uh, will be out next year and it takes place at the Amex, the start takes place at the Amex Stadium where um, the guy takes his son to the first Premier League game that Brighton's in and turns around and his son's gone. Pete is amazing. He produces bestsellers every year. Uh, publishers happy, publicist, that's me, happy. It couldn't happen to a nicer bloke. First class guy, good writer, works really hard, and quite simply, I love him. I always look forward to Peter's new novels. Yeah, they're great fun, they're really entertaining. And I love the fact that they come out at this time of the year, so perfect for taking on holiday with you. I'm a massive fan of the author Peter Jones, but um, I'm not big on reading books. I'm more of a, a techno guy in front of the computer. Uh, but this book I'll definitely be reading, and uh, my, my, my partner Vicky, she's, she's going to them in a big way. I love how he's just involved the local community all the time. There's always something relevant going on. Welcome to the i360 to celebrate the launch of Need You Dead. Uh, Peter's brand new Detective Superintendent Roy Grace novel. Tonight is Peter's night. Uh, in preparing for saying these uh, few words, I was pulling together some stats for what's happened in Peter's writing life in the last 12 months. Three, three lovely bits of data. Uh, he sold last year, just in last year, he sold one million books. Thank you, Peter. He was number one for three consecutive weeks on the Sunday Times bestseller list, the first. If you read on the proof of Peter's new book, Need You Dead, this is what it says. The landmark 13th Detective Superintendent Roy Grace novel. 13th. 18 million books sold worldwide. 11 number one Sunday Times bestsellers five nationwide tours of three smash hit plays and, and the one that personally I'm, you know, Peter knows this, that I'm so happy about, winner of the Diamond Dagger, awarded by the Crime Writers Association. And just to kind of give you that some, some context, that puts Peter in the company of, of Colin Dexter, Lee Child, John Le Carre. As one of your uh, fellow Brightonians once said in a song, Peter, you come a long way, baby. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm sure many of you who don't know this city have formed an image of Brighton and Hove through my books. 
And you must be pretty grateful to see such a big police presence here tonight. <laughs> I'm sure some of you already went up for a ride in the i360. Um, at 8.30 tonight, there's a second ride. You can get a wonderful view of the rain, the mist. <laughs> and if you're really lucky, you might spot somewhere in Brighton a murder. <laughs> Thank you all so much for coming, and have a great evening. I've known Peter for 25 years or more uh, through my friend with James Herbert, who was one of my best and oldest friends. And he's not following in Jim's steps anymore. He's actually coming up and really getting on with it. You know, it's great. He's a good man. He's a very good man. James' research is absolutely fantastic. The stories he tells are real stories. He hasn't made any of this up. This isn't something out of his head. He works very, very hard to make sure that it's authentic. And definitely, I see a lot of, a lot of things in his book which I have seen in the first place. What I've been able to do on some of them for Peter is review them in advance and watch out for any what you might call continuity errors. So for example, if you've got a character in one book who's 43, you can't have him in the next book being 42. And Peter can be prone to a few little slip-ups like that, as I've had cause to draw his attention to on more than one occasion. It's a dream to have Peter on our books. Uh, he promotes us. He promotes himself. He promotes his books, and he's global. I mean, what's not to like about that? <laughs>